handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Saturday. It's the 20th of May, 2023. Gonna look at the second race from Belmont, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean around the world. Let's look at the second from Belmont. Keep in mind, we're gonna get a lot of wet weather. It's gonna start early Saturday morning and just go throughout the day. That's why this race is race number two for the turf. Um, hopefully they can run this race on the turf. Um, if not, it's going to be a very interesting um, dirt race because there is some dirt form. And uh, I'm going to give you an exact in this race that I think it, it, it could go each way. But um, let's look at the second race from Belmont, which is the Paradise Creek Stakes. Going for $150,000 purse. Race for three-year-olds here. Field of nine horses going 1,400 meters. or seven furlongs in the Widener turf course. Rails are out at nine feet. My top selection, I'm going to go with the three-horse Inflation Nation. Let's go 3-1 in your exacta. 3-1 exacta. Use them both in the multi-race. But the top selection would be a three-horse Inflation Nation. Three year old by Spice Town. Christoph Clement trains. Dylan Davis gets the mount. Horses most recent out. He came 22nd of April at Aqueduct, one mile to Woodhaven, and he finished second by one quarter lengths that day. He just kind of stalked. He had the lead. But then he got overtaken late. You know, maybe just didn't want to go the set, uh, the mile trip. Cutting back to elongated sprints at seven furlongs. It looks like he's suited for it. You get a good trip here today, and it wouldn't surprise me if he finds a winner's circle. Two back at Aqueduct, six furlongs out of turf course in the Atlantic Beach. He finished third by two and a quarter lengths that day. He was a little bit wide. He moved a little bit late, but he still needed something. Again, if he had the seven that day, he probably would have won. And then the Futurity at Aqueduct, six furlongs on the 9th of October. He finished fourth by a half a length. He sat back early. It was an all-out finish. He just couldn't keep up late. Niagara Rock, who's won that day, was in, um, uh, is running actually today in the, um, I want to say, one of the turf races at uh, Pimlico. I can't think of it off the top of my head, actually. I can tell you right now, he's running today, and as I have the program, um, one second, uh, he's running in the, um, and I, I picked him, I can't even remember, um, but um, he, he's running in the James W. Murphy, the 12th race, um, so, um, you know, he, he's a decent horse, went on to have a decent season so far, this horse just wasn't getting to him that day, um, and then the maiden victory at Saratoga on the Mellon going five and a half, winning by a half a length from a tracking trip, he really took off clear, I think, like I said, he wants to go the seven furlong trip, he's going to get it today, he's going to handle a little given the ground. I'll use him at four to one. I think the one horse charging is a, a, a strong selection. Also, I'm going to use him on the ticket, and if he runs him on dirt, I like him a lot. Also, he'd be a single there on the on the dirt selection. But most recently, Keelan on five and a half main special weight, he won by six and basically broke like a bullet. He quickened up nicely, coming home with an 81 bar. That was a very good main victory. Prior to that, they tried him riding at the fairgrounds about a mile on the Stall Wilson Turf course, and he finished second by one quarter lengths that day. He just stalked a little bit wide, and he just couldn't catch the winner who ran very well. He was a next out winner, the, the winner along with this one. And then on debut at six furlongs at the fairgrounds in February in the dirt and a main special weight, he finished third by three and a half lengths. He's with him early on. The winner took off clear, but he didn't go down without a fight. He showed potential. He's trading well at Indiana and at Keeneland. Coming here today at 5-2. If they run out on turf, it's very well. If they run out on dirt, very well also. I'll use him on, on the uh, dirt to pick four. But to recount my selection for the second from Belmont, it's the Paradise Creek. Let's take the three-horse Inflation Nation. Give kudos to the one-horse charging. 3-1 exacta for me. Like I said, we'll use the three and one on the turf. If it's a dirt race, I think charging is your very likeliest winner also. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everybody.